Welcome back, everyone. Well, I know it's been a couple weeks since uh, we last posted, but we've just been so busy um, working on stuff and doing some things. But I just thought today I'd do another one. Um, but this time we are doing um, stamps from 1956. And I'm just going to kind of, you know, just show everybody the stamps that we have and what they look like at the end in the book and all that or how they're going to be placed in the book. Um, that'll be the thumbnail, but like I say, um, I'm hoping to get back into the model trains fairly soon here. Um, we had some issues and it kind of like threw us for a loop with, um, our end scale and all that and everything, but I'm looking to, you know, get back into that. Um, I'm also looking to get back into some more of the model builds, um, Lego builds, things like that. Live train catcher, catch, catching, nah, I can't talk, but live train catching, and of course, more of the stamps here. Because if you remember, let me just reach over here. Um, I have a collection here of all different years of the commemoratives. And like I say, I, I mean, I know this isn't like everybody's, um, you know, what everybody likes or whatever, but. It's something that I like and you know like I say I like to share it and just you know show everybody so like I say the the one we're doing today like I say is um, 1956 and they're all three cents stamps and I've already got them in their little protective sleeves um, I'll show everybody like what those look like if you're not familiar um, you know they they come like this and uh, you end up you know splitting this open and you put the you know stamp in there and then fold that over the top like that and then that's what goes in our book and of course you know i don't touch these with my bare hands because these are all mint stamps and they've got the glue on the back of them so i really don't like want to melt that glue or wreck the glue so i have like a little pair of tongs a little pair of tweezers that i you know put it all in the um in the sleeves and everything but I just thought I'd show everybody today uh, the 1956 collection. Like I say, these are all 56 commemoratives, and they were all valued at three cents a piece. So let's just uh, dive right in here, and I'll just explain to everybody what I've got. The first one is a bright uh, carmine. I believe they call it carmine red or whatever. And I'm just trying to see where the thing is. And that is um, of Benjamin Franklin. Uh, ben Franklin served as the first postmaster general of the colonies. So they have that for 1956. Our next one up is a deep blue, and it's to Booker T. Washington. Um, he was a slave during his childhood, and he went on to become president of the Tusk, uh, Tusk, Tuskegee Institute. And that right there is uh, the cabin. Nice deep blue color on that one. The next one is our FIPX PEX commemorative stamp. It's a deep violet. It stands for the Fifth International Philectric or Philic whatever exhibit that was held in New York on April 28th to May 6th, um, 1956. You can see that there. Really nice. Uh, I'm trying to watch the glare, but um, real nice deep purple on that one. The next one is a three cent brown stamp. It was a wildlife conservation. This was a second one in the series. And it uh, illustrates the pronghorn antelope, which is uh, protected and studied and transplanted under scientific guidance. And its numbers have increased. So that's this one right here. And like I say, uh, oh no, wait, I'm sorry. This one here. Uh, let's see, which one was this? Wait a minute, I'm, they got this marked wrong in the book here. This one, oh, I'm sorry, this one's a wild turkey, which has been restored to its original habitat thanks to federal and state government work. Okay, so that's the wild turkey. I'm sorry, I didn't see that one, but that's that one. Then we have the uh, brown one of the uh, long, long, um, the pronghorn, pronghorn antelope. 
Okay, the next one in the series is a bluish green color, and it's still a, it's another um, one for the wildlife one. They had three of them here, and this one shows um, the king salmon, um, which you know swims upstream and uh, swims upstream by fish ladders and elevators. So they got that one with the salmon. The next one is our. Let's see here. It's uh, dark blue, they claim it is, dark bluish green. It's the pure food and drug laws that provided for proper manufacturing, processing, and handling of food products, drugs, and medical supplies, and cosmetics. So that's this one right there. And it doesn't say who that was. Um, doesn't say, and I can't really see. Can't really see who that is. But anyways, the next one is our Wheatland. It's a black and brown stamp. This uh, Wheatland one is says it's located in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. It was uh, Wheatland that James Buchan, Buchan or whatever, learned of his nomination for president of the United States. And Buchan died in Wheatland in 1868. And I hope I'm saying that right. Because uh, it's a little hard for me to see the, the smaller print that comes with this book. Um, the next one, Labor Day. It's a deep blue one. It was in honor of Labor Day. It was released with the design from the Mosaic Mural at the AFL-CIO headquarters in um, Washington. So there's that one right there, Labor Day, as you can see. Really nice little stamp there. Now this one here I think is kind of weird. It's um, Nassau Hall or whatever. They say that this is black, but I, I guess I guess if you look at it, yeah, it is black. But it's it's a weird one. But anyways, it was a special issue stamp to celebrate the 200th anniversary of Nassau Hall, the first building of what is now Princeton University. But they say that that's black. Um. Yeah, it's black, but it's also on an orange one. So I don't know why they didn't consider that to be um, orange, but hey, whatever. Two more here. One more after this one. Our second to last one here is a violet stamp, a violet colored stamp. And it's of Devil's Tower. This commemorates the 50th anniversary of the federal law, which provided uh, American uh, natural wonders, provided for the American natural wonders. Devil's Tower Monument was the first of such protected areas. And again, you can see that there. And like I say, I'm really trying to control the glare. And the last one for this series is a dark blue one. It's uh, called Children. It was issued to recognize the role of children play in promoting world peace. The stamp was actually designed by a schoolboy. And I don't believe it says who on the stamp, but you can see, see there, I guess, you know, the key, the key to, uh, you know, the kids or whatever. So, so that was our 1956 commemoratives for this uh, video. And I'm going to. Go ahead and secure these all in the book and you'll you'll see the picture as the thumbnail but um the next one then that we're going to be doing after that is it's a bigger collection one it's 29 stamps but i think there's let me look here real quick but it's 1980 it says it's 29 stamps but it looks like yeah it looks like we got a lot of um like a four count stamp, uh, four in a thing here. And cause that's because we have those bigger, bigger uh, protection sheets. But, but uh, yeah, so that's gonna be the next video, our 1980s commemorative. And like I say, we're gonna start getting back into doing um, the model train work, uh, model cars, Lego builds, um, anything else that I can get my hands on, you know, to show everybody all different things and all that. So. Again, thanks for watching, everyone. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And like I say, I'm looking, you know, hopefully we can reach 1,000 subscribers by this summer and we can go live doing some trains and all that. So 
All right, everyone, take care, stay safe. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.